Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Pisces. And if you have any personal questions, then you will need a personal reading. And you can visit my website, katietarra.com. You can book a personal reading with me there because this reading is general in nature only. So please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't resonate for you because it's not meant for you if it doesn't resonate with, with you. So Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. Let's see what's coming up ahead for you Pisces. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We've got an Earth sign here. There's also a Fire sign. The Eight of Swords. Judgment. Three of Wands. And the Six of Cups. Okay, Pisces. Well, I feel for some of you, you're desperately trying to break free of something here emotionally, or you're trying to come to a resolution emotionally about something. Perhaps a decision, or you're trying to see your way clear of a situation this week. Something maybe very tricky to analyze and to come up with a solution. And you're having to tap into your intuition, tap into your emotions to try and figure this out. There's also a strong sense here of you having your defenses up emotionally. And this is because, you know, you don't want other people, another person or a situation that you're in. You don't want another to take advantage of you or hurt you. You don't want that. You don't want to be taken advantage of. And that's why you have your defenses up. And it may be necessary. Don't let it blind you though. Don't let it stop you from moving forward. Because I can see there's something that you want to do or achieve with the three of wands. There is something over the horizon that you are wanting to prepare for. And you are taking your time. I feel that you see what it is you want to do, but you don't want to rush toward this. And mentally you're a bit tied up about it. So there's a bit of conflict here. This week you may have communication with the person involved in this scenario in your life, okay? Or maybe within a relationship, so maybe your partner, it could be a friend or family member, co-worker, could be your boss, could be within with communication with an organization perhaps, or something to do with your home life. But I see messages being very important here because you want to, you do really want to move forward here, Pisces. You want to expand. You want to be able to express yourself. And just, it's a little bit tricky for some reason here. Because I believe you've been burnt in the past. There is a sense of the past coming in here with the Six of Cups. So, you know, burnt from the past or, you know, ha you have your defenses up because of circumstances, people in your past. But there's also a feeling here of giving and receiving and it's something positive. So I feel that if you don't let yourself open up to this situation, then you're going to miss out on something here. There's giving, receiving, friendship, warmth, caring, genuine affection, love, interest. You may miss out on this. So just be aware of that. 
You know, we do have judgment leading into these communications, into this scenario for you. So you may have had a big change. Something may have ended. You may have um, had a realization. Something major. And, it, and I believe that it's from a choice, you know, a choice that you have made. or a big situation that may have been outside of your control, another person may have influenced the situation as well. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. And, you know, this Queen is crossing you. So it could be an Earth sign. An Earth sign you're having difficulty with here, Pisces. It could be their Sun, Moon or Rising sign. Um, there is also, you know, if... I do feel it could be a person... Perhaps coming back in, male or female, into your life and, and that's what this is about for you. Or, you know, someone you've been dealing with, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a relationship, like a, you know, romantic thing. It could be someone you're dealing with, someone you are interacting with and it's challenging. It's challenging. You may be having to make a decision about this person. Um, some kind of sharing going on between you and this person. Or giving to this person. You may be holding back. You may want to move forward. You can see some benefit here with the Three of Wands. So I feel that's what you're going to be involved in this week. It's all about these messages or news or perhaps meetings um, with this person or other people or you're going to be hearing news that affects you in making a choice or balancing out your emotions, your energies so you can feel freer to go upon your journey. So I hope you all have a great week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.